Hi, I'm Ms. Polzak and I'm going to teach you how to log in as a student on ClassDojo and how to submit assignments on portfolios, which is what we will be doing during summer school. So the first thing you need to do is to go to ClassDojo.com and then you need to click on student or log in and then log in as a student. You can also obviously do this from the app as well. So I'm going to click log in as a student and there are three different ways that we can choose to log in. One is with a QR code. We will send that to you and you can either point your phone at the camera on the webcam or you can have it printed out and point your webcam at that as well. The second option is to sign in with a text code. This text code changes every 48 hours. So we will always post the newest one on Class Dojo on our class story. Then the third option is to sign in with Google, which isn't a thing that we're doing. There's a fourth option in which it connects your parent account to the student account directly, and we will send you the login, um, the way to log into that as well. So I'm going to log in with my text code. Again, the text code changes every 48 hours. And now I'm logged into my class. This is my example class. So usually it will have all of the students that are in the summer school class. And if you're logged in and connected to just your student, it should only pop up your student, which is the nice part. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on my name. And now we have my student portfolio. So if we look on the left side, we can see that I have the different classes I'm in. You wanna make sure that you click on first grade summer school because otherwise you're gonna still be getting stuff from your kindergarten classes. We have my to-do list, which is all the assignments I still need to do. And then if we scroll down, there's the stories as well as the class stories. So if we look at the to-do list, there are a couple of different assignments that I need to do. And basically all of our assignments will follow the same pattern of you're probably going to watch a YouTube video and then you need to complete something and take a picture or do a video for it. So I can also access this by clicking on portfolio. And again, it just shows me what I have to do. So I have the science day one that I need to complete, which says watch, and then it's got a link. Do what is today's weather, words to describe the weather, sunny, cloudy, rainy, cold, hot, start with today's weather is, and then it shows that we're gonna take a picture. So I'm going to click on start, and if we look on the right side, it has the YouTube link. So I would click on the link, watch the YouTube video, and then do what it tells me to do. After I have done that, then I can come back to this assignment and I will click allow so that it can see my wonderful face and my beautiful camera. And then I would take a picture of my work like that. I know this page is blank. And there we go. So now it has a picture of my work. You would hold it up just like that. If you're on a phone, obviously, it's a little bit easier to take a picture. Um, you can add a caption, today's today's weather is sunny and then if you want you can draw on the picture as well so there we go because I you know didn't actually do the assignment and there's some some sun and some grass or something okay and then whenever you're finished you can click hand in you can also click over here on the bottom right where it has this little microphone and you can record a short little voice message today's weather is sunny and then you can click finish and that way you still have the static image of the picture that you took but you can kind of explain it a little bit more um whenever you're finished you click hand in and now it goes down here to your portfolio so up here we have things I still need to do. I have a draft because I didn't complete an assignment and I have finished all the other assignments. If we click on them, we can see that Ms. Pozak, myself, or Ms. Smith will probably comment on almost every single one of your posts with, you know, great job, or I'm so excited, or, you know, whatever else we wanna say. These posts with the clock on them show that they have been submitted to the teacher, but the teacher hasn't approved them yet. So Ms. Smith or myself have to approve every single post and that's how we're going to know whether or not you actually did it because we have to put our eyes on it. If we send it back to you, we can click return as a draft and it will look like this because it's still in your to-do list. That means that you need to edit and change what you what you posted. So this had a YouTube video for me to watch and it says draw and label five plus things about you. Obviously I didn't do that, so now I need to retake it once I'm ready 
and I will, you know, redo it. I'll actually do the work and um, then I will post a picture of it like that. And then Miss Smith and myself will get a new update about it and we can either accept it or we can, you know, not accept it if we want to. So that is how you are going to be doing your work on Class Dojo. A lot of it is going to be looking at the assignment and completing something, not staring at a screen, and then coming back to actually take the picture of it. So I hope that really helped you understand how we are going to be doing summer school, and I'm really excited.